When Josh Duggar got arrested by federal agents last week, many fans assumed that this brush with the law was the result of tax evasion or some other unscrupulous business practice. As we soon learned, however, the situation was much, much worse than that. It was soon revealed that the 33-year-old Josh Duggar was arrested for possession of child pornography, and further details revealed during Wednesday's bail hearing are not for the faint of heart. It was revealed in court that Josh possessed 65 images and several videos depicting children as young as 5 years old engaging in various illicit acts. Moreover, he tried and failed not to get caught. Authorities alleged that Josh had installed a Tor browser on his computer, which would allow him to access the dark web without being traced. Also on the work computer in question was a software program by the name of Covenant Eyes. Josh's long-suffering wife Anna Duggar used this software to monitor his internet activity. Just let that sink in for a moment. This man is an admitted cheater, porn addict and child molester whose parents tried to cover up his past misdeeds. His wife has an application to keep tabs on his internet browsing, which he takes measures to actively circumvent. So he can allegedly download illicit images of minor children, of which he has six, soon to be seven, of his own. Sick. Covenant Eyes was founded by a devout Christian named Ron DeHass, who struggled with an addiction to adult content. He created the program so that concerned spouses could monitor their porn addicted partners' internet usage. DeHass said the project arose out of his own passion and burden for the devastating effect of internet pornography. According to De Haas, his fixation on illicit sexual material weighed heavier and heavier and he could not stop. From a business standpoint or from the standpoint of security of my family, I actually thought about stopping in September 2000, he added. But God kept opening doors and I could not stop. And so De Haas created a program that would enable partners to keep an eye on one another. Although we're guessing in Josh and Anna Duggar's case, the surveillance was strictly one way. And we're also guessing it was limited in its effectiveness for reasons that aren't entirely clear. Covenant Eyes works by taking and recording periodic screenshots of its users' internet activity. It monitors the screen information and sends the shots to the spouse for further perusal. Anna, it seems, had no idea of Josh's activity. The father of six stashed his vile materials in a part of his work hard drive that was not monitored by the program. So yeah, not a great advertisement for Covenant Eyes. Of course, it's possible Anna is playing dumb and not being forthcoming, so as to not interfere with Josh's defense. Josh is reportedly claiming that an ex-con he hired downloaded the illegal content to his computer in order to frame him. It was revealed in yesterday's hearing that Josh asked arresting officers if child porn had been found on his computer. The officers say they found this odd, as they had not yet informed Josh of the purpose for their raid at that point. That's not necessarily a smoking gun sign of guilt, though. It seems that Josh is planning to pretend that he suspected the employee of downloading these materials, but was unable to find and remove them. It's a wild story, but Josh doesn't have much else to lean on. In the meantime, the Duggars have hired a lawyer who specializes in sex crimes as Josh's defense attorney. Currently, Josh is out on bail, having convinced the judge that he is not a flight risk or a danger to anyone. He is unable to return home, however. The terms of his release prevent him from being under the same roof as any minors while awaiting trial. He is staying with some family friends and has no access to the internet or smartphones. His trial should take place sometime this summer. More info as it appears. The way this is going, it won't be for those with a weak stomach. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.